Hello and uh, welcome to uh, another example uh, for C. In this part, we will learn how to compute Fibonacci series. Now, a Fibonacci series is given by Fn is equal to Fn minus 1 plus Fn minus 2. That is, nth term is sum of n minus 1th and n minus 2th term. And the first two terms are 0 and 1. So it's a very easy program. What you do is you declare two variables. I have declared f1 as 0 and f2 as 1. And uh, then I have two variables. Uh, one is num, num for storing one input. And one is a temporary variable to hold uh, intermediate values. And then we take uh, input of num and uh, we print first two numbers. Then for those many numbers, I mean num minus 2, because we already have two numbers, we run a for loop starting from 0 to less than num minus 2. Since we start with 0, we use less than. If you start from 1, then it would be less than is equal to. And then what we do is we compute temp, which is sum of f1 plus f2. And then we substitute the value of f2 to f1. So now f1 becomes f2 and f2 becomes temp. That means f2 will become f3. Because if you see the above formula, temp is nothing but f3 here, right? So f1 becomes f2, f2 becomes f3. And then we print f3. f1 and f2 are already printed. In the next iteration, this is f2 and f3. So temp is f4. And then f1 becomes f3 and f4 uh, is assigned to f3. And then we again print that. Let's see this running. So let's say I want only two numbers. Okay, so it printed uh, two extra numbers. So 0 and 1 are already printed. And then 2. So we start from 0. And 2 minus 2. How this, this happened? num minus 2 so this should not run this loop should not run how come it is working okay okay, okay I think I have not compiled I have not compiled again let's compile again okay so I gave 2 so only two numbers are printed. It was not compiled again, so that's why it was not giving the proper output. The previous one had num, not num minus one. So if we say one, then it would print first two and then bail out. So let's try to print first four. Oh, sorry. So we print first four. So it prints first four and then say if we want to print ten. Oh, it does not accept command line arguments. So let's say 20, so we get 20, note that this is 55 here, so you see this is how you print all Fibonacci numbers, so first 30 Fibonacci numbers, okay, so that's how we print Fibonacci numbers, so that brings us to an end of uh, Fibonacci series. The technique which you should uh, look into this is how we use a temporary variable to store the intermediate value and how we run the loop and why we have used minus 2. I think that's all there to learn in this tutorial. Uh, see you in next part in which, uh, in which we will uh, learn about uh, uh, factorials. Till then, enjoy. Happy programming.